Thomas de Beauchamp, 11th Earl of Warwick, born 14th of February 1313, died 13th of November 1369. Sometimes styled as Lord Warwick, as an English nobleman and military commander during the Hundred Years' War. His reputation as a military leader was so formidable that he was nicknamed the Devil Warwick by the French. In 1348, he became one of the founders of the Third Knight of the Order of the Garter. Thomas was undoubtedly a brave warrior in battle and proved to be a strong military leader. For example, the 14th century Anonymile Chronicle states that when news arrived of his landing at Calais, the Duke of Burgundy, whose forces were camped nearby, made a hasty retreat under cover of darkness to avoid an encounter with the devil Warwick. He fought in Scotland as captain of the army against the Scots in 1337 at the age of 24. He also fought in the Hundred Years' War with France, commanding the English victory at the Battle of Cressy in 1346. Thomas de Beauchamp was born at Warwick Castle in Warwickshire, England, to Guy de Beauchamp, the 10th Earl of Warwick, and Alice de Tioni. He served in Scotland frequently during the 1330s, being captain of the army against the Scots in 1337. He was the hereditary High Sheriff of Worcestershire from 1333 until his death. In 1344, he was also made High Sheriff of Warwickshire and Leicestershire for life. Warwick was a Marshal of England from 1343 until 1369 and was one of the commanders at the Great English Victories at Cressy and Poitiers. Thomas de Beauchamp fought in all the wars of King Edward III. He commanded the centre at the Battle of Cressy, where many of his relatives were killed including his younger half-brother, Alan Lazouche de Mortimer. He was trusted to be the guardian of the 16-year-old Black Prince. Beauchamp fought at Poitiers in 1356 and at the Siege of Calais in 1346. He began the rebuilding of the Collegiate Church of St Mary in Warwick, supposedly using money received from the ransom of the Archbishop of Sons, who he captured at Poitiers, but that is an oversimplification. He died of plague in Calais on the 13th of November 1369, and was entombed, along with his wife Catherine, Countess of Warwick, in the chancel of St Mary's Warwick.